now from Capitol Hill are Texas Congressman uh, Louis Gohmert, Arizona Congressman Matt Salmon are with us. Uh, both voted against this bill tonight. Gentlemen, welcome to the uh, welcome to the program. Thanks for being with us. Thank um, you. Louis, Thank you let, let me begin with you. I want to start with this alliance because w w as they voted on the rule earlier today, there was a point where they were down three votes, and then you had a, a shift of a couple of people in the final moments. But you had the president, you, you had John Boehner rather needing Joe Biden, needing the president, needing Harry Reid, needing Steny Hoyer, and the Democrats to get this bill passed. Throughout the day, at any point, you're, you guys are known as pretty strong conservatives in the House. At any point, were you consulted? Were you brought into the discussions? Were you encouraged to vote for this? No, there was uh, no encouragement to conservatives. Uh, the Speaker and Majority Leader, uh, the Speaker knew there's money for abortion, money for the EPA to, to hurt states like Texas, Arizona. There's just all kinds of money in there for things we don't support. And, and Sean, you and I know, uh, some of us have gone to our leadership and said, look, this, we can do this very easily. Let's do it together with conservatives. It, that's the bulk of our conference. Don't make them take a wrong vote. Let's fund everything for two months. Let us have a vote on, on uh, defunding Obama's amnesty. And we'll even agree that the Senate can take it out if they take the hard vote to do that and let it go from there to the president. We were willing to work with them to compromise, and not one word, as you know, the calls went to the White House. When in a time that the, that the speaker needed votes, he turned to somebody that he really identifies with, the president and liberal Democrats, and got them to help him pass this vote. Congressman Salmon, let me, let me bring you in. Steve Scalise, the whip, said tonight, that we have set the stage for a battle with the President of the United States. Um, didn't they just give up a lot of leverage that they would have had with the new majority? Do you agree with that statement? Do you see any way now with the funding of Obamacare through the fiscal year that there's any way that it could be defunded at this point? Not unless we uh, put out a new spending bill, uh, and I don't see that happening. You know, back to the question also that you asked Louie, I uh, went to the leadership. I told them that I believe that if we uh, did work our will, this is not a unicameral body, it's a bicameral body. The House is supposed to work its will and send it to the Senate and stop uh, folding before we, you know, before they even uh, show our hand. And so I, I, I said if we would send it to the Senate, and then let them work their will. We may be surprised. Maybe a lot of Democrats over there are feeling a lot of pain and heat from the election, but they'll do the right thing. But we'll never know. You yeah. never know if you always punt the ball. Sometimes you got to run it, sometimes you got to pass it. But my frustration is, you know, I led the charge with uh, the letter uh, uh, about a month and a half ago with 69 people to say we wanted to defund the thing. Then Mick Mulvaney and I were the two guys leading the rule. Uh, both Louie and I ended up voting against the rule. We did not switch our vote at the last minute. No. We believe that the right thing to do was uh, well, to let the members have a vote on this amendment. But, but they didn't want to come to the floor because they knew it had passed. If you would have passed a short-term resolution to fund the government, that you would have had the opportunity to maybe do some new, bold, and dynamic things. For example, Absolutely maybe deal with right. the issue of the budget deficit, which wasn't addressed exactly. here. Not fund well, Obamacare. There's a new poll out today. 58% right. of the American people want it repealed, that you could have addressed that issue. And John right, right. Boehner, the speaker, you know, worked with the up. president, vice president, and Harry Reid to get this thing done. So one has to ask the question. Did John Boehner mean what he said when he talked about that they were going to defund Obamacare, re re repeal and replace it? Did, well, why is John Boehner gonna, cutting deals with the president? He said he was going to fight a tooth and nail. And fighting a tooth and nail would have been to put our amendment on the floor. That's and right. when, when in three weeks... We're all going to raise our right hand and we're going to swear to defend the Constitution from all enemies, both foreign and domestic. And that was an abdication of our duty to fund something that we believe is unconstitutional. Well, and Sean, what we did was only fund DHS for two months. So the, it appears the thing we want to take hostage is the Department of Homeland Security, the, the Border Patrol. So the rule in taking hostages is never take a hostage the other side wants you to shoot. So we go to the president. This is the way it plays out. This is the hand 
left with. We go to the president in two months and say, okay, either you stop your amnesty altogether or we're not going to put right. Border Patrol on question. the border. Last really? question. I'm running out of time. Do, do you think either one of you in any way, shape, matter, or form that this impacts John Boehner's running for re-election as speaker? Or is this going to come up in play now? I think he ought to be able to pick up some Democratic votes for speaker this time. I think it he might have the support of the president. <laughs> I think he can get, get the White House to lobby for He can have time. Dennis McDonough or the president come over and get Democrats to get the votes to carry him across the finish line uh, to I, speaker. I think that I, I, can't, I can't top that. I, I, I can't top that. that. It's almost this irrational fear and, and paranoia that they have. Oh, I don't want to get blamed for a shutdown. Well, if the Democrats didn't support the CR, they would have shut down the government. But all right, thank That's you both exactly for being. Right, a lot of hypocrisy. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yep.